Um, Kimon was very aware of the, the huge need because of the massive street-based community here and, and so many people coming and asking for food around this area. So with the restaurant being here, it all made sense to start from the restaurant. And we, we offer a warm bowl of pasta with the side helping of love and support and hope for a better future but not just to the homeless, to anyone in need. You know, throughout lockdown, it was, we, we had to do a social distancing handout kitchen. And yeah, it was to anybody who, who wanted a, a lovely meal and a, and a social distance chat. But we also include beautiful sit down meal now, conversation and wellness programs to uplift. And we were inspired to do something now, to do something with what, I, what we have and so we all collaborated and we came together with the restaurant, with our time, with our resources to, to create this concept of not a soup kitchen but a pasta kitchen. We have been going for five years purely on the donations and the love and support of our volunteer family, international volunteer family, um, students from abroad, friends and family, the Art of Living community and inspired volunteers. My name is Anne. I am originally from the Netherlands, uh, living in Cape Town for the last four years already. Uh, my role in a pasta kitchen is to be a volunteer, so whatever I can do, I help out. And often it's the, the cooking of the pasta or making the sauce or just handing out the food. Okay. At the Jabal Pasta, here in the main road, Pasta gives us every time some food, make us feel good. And we can go anytime there by him. We have no problem. I always feel that it could have been me on that spot. It could have been me ending up on the street and uh, it's, it still can happen, like we have no clue what life has in store for us. So I always feel like, yeah, reach out to people. Then it doesn't matter if they're living on the streets, it can even be your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> so we were asked recently if we had a hundred million dollars, what would we do? And it is, it's that sense of not wanting to reinvent the wheel, but wanting to there's so many amazing organizations who are really good at what they do around OBS, around Cape Town. And if the OBS Pasta Kitchen can collaborate with places that have another aspect of this formula to success. <laughs>